the Messi's menu. Our food is sweet, but our conversation's sweeter. over but I'm still going to you know refresh myself with my messy magic flat tummy tea because I have a new guest in my kitchen plus I'm going to eat 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 and eat so messy magic tea time got this got it covered yes I do in there you leave to steep for a couple of minutes and then you drink. I'll see you guys soon. Hi everyone, how are you all doing? It's time again for you to light up the heat. Yes, turn up that heat for another lit episode of Mercy's Menu. But this time, it's season four. Brought to you by Power Oil, the number one cooking oil for a healthy family. Shout out to all of my sponsors, Power Oil, for providing the number one cooking oil for my family. That is my oil, my choice for my family. Thank you so much, Tiger Foods, for spicing our lives with your tantalizing spices and food products. Thank you, Good Mama, for refreshing my fabrics and making them smell so nice. Beauty by AD, I love my makeup. Lagos London hair, I know that I do look fly. My name is Messi Johnson Okoje, your one and only host, a wife to a fine boy called Honorable Prince Odianose Okoje, a mother to four precious germs. This is my kitchen where the magic happens. Don't forget, our food is sweet, but our conversations sweeter. And today, I have deliciousness cooking. Don't miss it. Indulge me and enjoy. So all of my ingredients are ready. I am ready to cook, but like you know, I do not cook alone. I always have a support system. Someone whose story inspires us and teaches us that there's more to life and that we can be anything we want to be. Now today, I have such a person in my kitchen. A wife, an actor, an influencer, plus she's very successful. She has the biggest TV series on Showmax. Yes! Yes, I have Scarlett Gomez in my kitchen, a.k.a. Wura! Mommy, it is time for us to leave this old place. One of your earrings is missing. No one will find it. I'm not willing to take that chance. I have a big plan, man. What do you want? I want a senior position at the bar. If anything happens to me, go through the contents of this envelope and check everything within. It's done. No one will ever find out the truth. We're on this Do you know that? Hi, Mama. Hi, Princess. How Hi, are Mama. you? Hi, Queen. It's good to see you. It's good and it's to awesome be here. And it's awesome to have you in my kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. You'll find this very well. Oh, How's for them? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna okay. have fun. Do you cook? Yes, I do. Really? Yes, I That's do. Awesome. I love cooking. I mustn't fail to see a brilliant performance. Oh, oh thank my you. God. Coming you from you. Gold. Just, I'm just telling I'm you. Stop it, please. I'm telling you. <laughs> thank you. Brilliant. Thank you so like, much. it is amazing. I'm sure you get this all the time. Do you? I do, but coming from you sounds different. Oh, so thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you so much. So, you cook? Yes, I do. All right. So, looking at what we have on the table, what do you think you? I'm making today. Hmm. This is beans pudding. Mm -hmm. uh, we have. Is this milk? Okay, this is custard, right? Okay. Uh, Akara. And custard. Oh, okay. Oh, not, not like a. <laughs> On Messi's menu, we always have a twist. Mm. So, yes, you got it right, but it's Akara waffles and custard. 
Have you tried that before? I've never made a crab the waffles way, so I'm excited to try it. Okay, so you know waffles is the regular flour mm -hmm, you put in the mm -hmm, waffle. Mm -hmm. So this time we have the bean um um pudding yeah. put in already, mm -hmm. and then all we have to do after blend, after washing, we blend. All we have to do is pour it into the waffle maker. Yay. And let it get ready. So it'll be like in a waffle form Fun. for a takara. Okay. Awesome, right? Yeah. And then the custard is extremely easy. You, yeah. boil, you mix it with water, boil, yeah, and, then and then you then pour the hot water in, and, and then, then your mix. custard is ready. Mm -hmm. Ready to cook? Ready. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you are supposed to whisk that right. before you pour it into the Mixer. waffle maker. Distribute this evenly. Yes, evenly. That is whisked up. Then you close it. Yes, that way. Then we're ready. Yes, we are. Now we're ready. Yes, now we wait. Okay. You are a model, right? You model. Yes, I used to. I think I still, I can still do it. Oh, and the video mixing. Yes. Why did you, you still, you still sing and dance on okay. music videos? Um, no, I don't do that anymore. Why? Well, cause um, I had to stop. Cause at that time there wasn't a lot of respect that came with the job. You're kidding? No, I'm not. For instance, you be on set and you have artists wanting to touch you a certain way. No yeah. way. Yeah, cause to them they paid for you, so <laughs> you should you should agree to whatever it is that. Or sometimes they expect you to treat them special, cause you know they're celebrities, so they can get away with whatever it is and everything. Yeah. So um, there was that notion that um, video vixens were called girls. Yeah, so I didn't like it because I wanted more for myself. And I mean, I liked doing it. I like being in front of the camera. I just You're pretty. Thank you. <laughs> I just didn't want to, you know, be in front of, of the camera that way. Which is why I think I went into acting and I fell in love with it. You were in music? You used to yes, sing. yes. Your dad is into music also. Yes, yes. So why did you pot? I don't pot or like, Okay, so this is weird and this is very strange. I find singing in front of people very scary. I yeah. cannot sing in front of people. I feel like when I sing in front of people, I'm very vulnerable and they can see through me. So I'm still trying to build my confidence when it comes to that in yeah, front right, of people. You're right, that's strange. And then people will say, <laughs> yeah, people will say, because you're an actor, you should be able yeah, to it's sing. Like, no, it's not the same for me. Really? I don't know why I try. I probably, it's so bad that when I'm in the studio, I turn off the lights in the recording booth so that the producer does not see me sing. Yeah. So my dad, daddy still sings? Does he still um, sing? No, he's late now. He used to be, oh, um, thank you. He was a sound engineer for the likes of oh. Sonia Day, oh, really? Sonia Neji, way back, yeah. And then he got an Oscars for, yeah. You're kidding. Mm -hmm. He produced, um, he did like a sound score for the last, last King of Scotland. Yeah. And you got an Oscar? Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you check out the waffle. I said I was going to burn your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> we won't let you. <laughs> okay, okay, we still it's have hot time. Ready. Yeah, so yeah, have a little bit time. more to go. Okay. okay. So, so far, what has it been like in the industry? You're doing tremendously well. Thank you, thank you. How has it been? Um, what are the challenges you faced? Yeah, um, it hasn't been easy because um, being in Hollywood, they get to tell you that you need to know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody before mm. you can get that big break and everything. So what are the challenges you faced so far? Well, um, Getting the right roles and you know doing as well as you want to in the industry because they always tell you you have to know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody For you to get a break. or you have to be part of the clique yeah. or the who is who people that know not and that. I'm not that type of person. I believe my talents will speak for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to, so to speak, excuse my French, kiss ass. So, um, no, ass doesn't take it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. So, for the longest, uh, I always tell people I've been in the industry for, for what, 10 years compared to yours is, is a little thing, but 
um, throughout that journey has been been easy having to go for auditions and just trying to you know just bag the right role because I didn't know anybody that knew anybody that knew anybody no. so I had to work my way up to Through, the top to this so, level yes yeah, so I did all the worker pass roles I did all the free jobs I did jobs that I never got paid for even though I was to be paid for them I have jobs where people I just go there and they just tell me oh we don't like your face we think you're too yeah, snobby or bitchy or something and you know all of that added to you know the journey and the challenges also typecasting they see you a certain way and they feel oh that's the role you can play yes. and you want to tell Just them like, you to one exactly thing. like oh yeah the baby girl with the long i'm like i want to do more challenging roles mm -hmm. and everything which is why i was really grateful when Wura came along yeah. because it was a character that I had not played before and the story Something was quite different. unique now were you married when you were a video vixen yes the husband like you yes kidding no in fact, that's not the worst he has done, actually. What? I hardly tell the story. So I had a script I got from Clarence Peters when he wanted to start out um, as a movie director. Mm -hmm. And um, the character I was playing was very spicy, very out there. And there was a sex scene in the film. Yeah. And... So I got the script. Uh, normally, we'll go through the scripts together and he'll tell me how he thinks I should play it mm -hmm. and all of that. And I got the script, I read it and I'm like, what? I got home, I acted like I had not read the script. I gave him the script. I said, I quickly want to jump into the shower. So just go through it and tell me what you think, right? And it was just six pages long because it was a short film. Uh, I took my bath like three times just to make sure that by the time I came out, it had been done, you know? <laughs> and then by the time I came out, I was like, oh, I think I, I like the story. You should do it. I'm like, sir, do it. I'm like, okay. And I did it. He said something that really resonated with me, that the fact that, you know, if it was tastefully shot, people would say it for it the art tacky. that it was and not, you know, yes, like, I get yeah, it. and it came out really nice. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. What music video was that? Uh, it's a film. It's called X. It's on YouTube. What music videos have you done? What um, popular ones have you done? I've done Bonham Boys, Run My Race. Mm -hmm. I've done Flora My Flower, Do You Do. Mm -hmm. I've done um, Love Song, Timmy Dakulu. I have done Tom by Tom, Oh, okay. I can go on. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so you. our food is almost ready. All we have to do now is get our custard ready and then we eat while we ask Wura here lots of questions. I like to call her Wura. Yes, she I love good. Being called Wura. <laughs> Thank you. She good. We'll be back. It goes, it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. It goes, it goes. I'm going to try my kids. Mm, that's a fun way to get kids to eat. To eat it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My God. Mm. No, this is good. Thank you. You must try. Mm -mm. It's really good. I can cook. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> So it's not like all the time that the kids eat waffle, waffle, waffle. I can actually turn into a Akara. Waffle. Yeah. Hmm. So like, has there ever been a point in time when you felt like giving up? Ever? You know, like most people struggle through the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. And then at some point in time, they feel like, okay, that's enough. I'm going to look for something else to do. Was there any point in time when you felt like, okay, no, that's it. I'm, I'm looking for something else. Okay. Um, yes and no. And I'll answer that by saying that I'm not a quitter, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not the type to quit. If I embark on a journey, I try to follow it through. But there are times when I have gotten really frustrated that I get to question the journey I'm on or why I'm doing what I'm doing, like acting, for instance. There are times when I'm human, of course. There are times when, you know, I have been in the game for a bit and have been doing it and just waiting for that break to come and then it's not coming and then you're going on social media mm -hmm. and then you're seeing your colleagues post the poster of this movie, that movie and it feels like everybody's life is just moving and then yours is just stagnant and then you're asking when is it going to happen, when is it going to happen, am I doing something wrong, um, what more do I need to do and everything. In most cases, a lot of people tend to compromise or try to, you know, be who they are not or try to adapt other people's style of life. I just I just try to remain as calm as possible. And of course, I'm very lucky to have my husband. He gets it. 
trust me, that's my emotional support. I don't know how I would have done it without him, but yeah, I get, I get really, I get, I have low moments like that. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. I do. Oh. <laughs> I do. Hmm. That's <laughs> the first time I'll ever say that, but. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. No, this is good. Thank you. It's motivating me. I hope it doesn't motivate you to ask me really hard questions. The hard one is coming. The very hard one is coming. Mm. I think I already asked you the hard one in the kitchen. Okay. But come to think about it, you have like the biggest show mm -hmm. on TV, mm -hmm. on Show Max, Wura. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? I mean, comparing now to two years ago, how far do you think you've come? Really far. I'm not even going to lie. Because um, just like the first question you asked, Wura came at a point when I was questioning my decisions mm. and saying, okay, um, you know what, maybe I need to do more of something. Maybe I need to network more. Maybe I need to go out more. And, you know, I went for the AMVCAs and then I ran into one of the sh um, show marks people and Mr. Rogers Fascinated Media. Mm -hmm. And then they just said, oh, they have this audition coming up. Oh, you should come try for it. This will be the first time I'm saying this as well. I auditioned seven times for Wura. Yes. And for every time it kept happening, I just kept going, what more do these people want? What more do these people want? What is it that I'm not doing? And then the sixth audition, they called to tell me that, you know, they had decided to go with someone else because I looked younger than the character, right? I remember going into my bathroom and just really crying. Because in my mind, I thought that was the break, big, like, big, big break, 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 break I've been waiting for, you know? And I was just like, okay, you know what? Maybe it wasn't for me. Maybe I just need to keep trying or maybe I need to pack my bags. We'll find time to tell. Go right? back into modeling or music. Yeah. <laughs> and then they called and said, okay, you know what? We decided to give you just one more try to see if we can aid you a bit with makeup and everything. You needed to say I was on set. My phone literally dropped. I <laughs> ran outside on the street and I just kept screaming. Well, I couldn't tell them because of the confidentiality mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. So, um... I called my husband, I told him I was crying on the phone. I called my tailor because for every time I went for the audition, they told us to dress the character. Oh, and she always... So she was the one always making my dress for me and everything. So I called her and we were both crying on the phone. She goes, this is it. You have to kill it. This is your one chance and everything. So yeah, my life has changed in two years. And I didn't even think it was going to be this big. I didn't envision it to be that break that I have been saying that I needed. Mm -hmm. But it turned out to be God works in mysterious ways this day. Really, really great. Thank you. Very nice. Mm, I've had a husband like two times now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me get here. Because mm -hmm. I've had husband like it. Husband, husband, husband. Um, if you meet or you're, how long have you been married? Seven years. Seven years. That's that's that's, that's awesome. Thank you. You have kids. Um, sadly, we had one, but we lost it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When? 2019. You trying again? Yes, uh, actively. So actively, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the craziest things that, I've, that has ever happened to me. <laughs> so when I first got married and I was trying to get pregnant, mm -hmm. I think I said this before. So someone told me that if I eat mango, it would be very easy for me to get pregnant. I bought a full bag of sherry mango. If I give you this revelation, <laughs> you will choke. So first month, um, second month, third month, oh, first month I said, God, please give me twins. Third month, third month I said, God, please give me a boy. Fourth month I said, God, please um, um, give me a girl. Fifth, sixth month, nothing. I said, Lord, anyone you give me, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> ben, yeah, it's very it's really dropping. And then somebody told me, if you eat mango, you get pregnant. I bought a full bag. I ate the old mango and then I had mango all over my teeth. And then the next month, nothing came, which was seventh month. Then the eighth month, they told me, when you and Odia are together, after you finish, lie down, they make sure your leg is up. Oh, your head I down. did that one. Oh, <laughs> see, immediately after, I'll just lie down. Only my hair, maybe one strap will be on the head. <laughs> Odia will come and say, you kill yourself. I'm telling you. So when you want to get pregnant, mm -hmm. that's when you know that there are certain things that only God can do. Yes, true, true. Because like anything true. anybody tells you, you try. True. true. I was gullible, I was that gullible it's as well. It's crazy. Yeah, I remember when they tell you, oh, if you're having heartburn, that means the baby's going That's to be very heavy. Hairy. My son was so I'll start to have air, oh. like heartburn and they'll tell me to take tombs. I say, no, 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 it's good, it's good, my child will be hairy. It's crazy. So, yeah. are you worried about it or you're just relaxed that it will come when it's time for it to come? 
I'm not worried one bit because um, I know that I've done it before. Mm -hmm. So I know that it's, it's, it's going to happen. I just feel yeah. like God wanted it to be right. And that's why it happened, right? So yeah, initially when it happened, I felt sad about it. But yeah, I don't look very spiritual, but I'm a spiritual person. So at, at some point when I was asking God, it just made me understand that, you know, it's not time. When it's time with you, give me the one that would stay. That's a very good spirit. Thank you. That's a very good spirit. Thank you. So if you see like a young girl who's about to get married, what is that one advice you give to her since you've been married for seven years? Um, marriage is not one size fits all. Do not listen to people and their advices. You are with a unique person. So find out your love language and love people how they want to be loved, not how you think you should love them. Directly saying every marriage has its perks, every marriage is different. Exactly. Do what works Don't for collect you. advice online and go and use it in your marriage. <laughs> Naomi. <Simple. no. laughs> hey guys, I hope you had so much fun. It's been so much fun having um Scarlett in the house. I always call her Wura 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 because that's like a mm. Wura. <laughs>
<laughs> Who never ate of this episode of Messi's Menu? I had my sweet as Scarlet, my Wura in my kitchen. It was so much fun. We made Akara waffles. She made and it tasted awesome. So we'll meet again next week. Bye, Wura. <laughs> <laughs> Kogi Lokoja, eh, eh, Sokoto Sokoto, eh, Kaduna Kaduna, well, uh, Anambra. Okay, it is well, don't worry. Ah, oh, God. Mention three countries that start with A America, Australia, Albania. Mm -hmm. No matter who, okay, who want the bigger money? <laughs> oh, my hair is cold. <laughs> oh, you respect me all day. Oh, you respect. Emma, be no rubber. Hand it to your senior. Uh, should I give you? Hand it to your senior. I can give you like one key. Ah ah. I've tried. Ah ah. I've tried. Ah ah. Just I cannot give you anything. <laughs>